Hey guys, this is something I should have posted along with the Arc Staff video, but I kind of just slipped the DPS numbers in there without even comparing them to other combos, and even then I didn't highlight where those DPS numbers are. So here I am showing two Kali damage phases, one with Nighthawk, 1k, Null Composure, and Particle Deconstruction, and the other with Anarchy, Arc Staff, Null Composure, and Particle Deconstruction. Kali does have a 2 times head multiplier that the vast majority of bosses do not have. I'm pretty sure it's just Kali, Alice, and Shiro Chi, and then Riven has her own weird one. And the numbers here will be corrected to remove that from the Golden Gun, as everything else here does not deal precision damage. Damage time will be calculated from the time Kali spawns in to when she wipes us, and to use that I used her audible teleport sound. And there was a difference in the DPS times. I did go back and try to line up the DPS times to be the same number and they just don't work. It's probably something server side, but in the end it's not gonna matter. First up, here is the damage phase with Golden Gun. We did 647k damage without correcting the head multiplier, and that brings it down to 537k after correcting. Our damage phase was 28.67 seconds, and that brings our DPS to an 18.7k over the entire damageable phase. Now here is the damage phase with Arc Staff. We did 565k damage, and no correcting is needed as we dealt nothing to the head. And our entire damage phase was 26.2 seconds long, which was even shorter than the previous. This brings our DPS to 21k during the entire damageable phase. Comparing those numbers, we only did about 5% more total damage, but we did 12% more DPS. And we have more ammo left over in terms of Anarchy and Null Composure compared to just Null Composure. And my point in calling this a DPS monster was not that it flat out beat everything, but because it's a viable option for DPS where it's viable. You're not going to take this to Atheon, I've tried it, you kind of just keep going through his legs, but on bosses like Kali, it works. I even did a solo Vorgith, which I might even include in here, or if you want me to, I can include, and I literally left him with a sliver of HP, and I kept trying to get that clean one phase with it as a solo hunter. I just kept like barely missing out on it, but I will also say the neutral game, because I heard someone complain about that, I had zero issues with getting the damage phase on Vorgith, which I know some people do struggle with. So the neutral game of this subclass is great still. And the other thing, with well taking consideration, 1k will probably beat it out easily just because well boosts weapon damage, not super damage. So Arc Staff's not going to get that nice burst of damage bonus. But as a solo hunter DPS option, this may be your best bet where it works and you do not have to be slaves to a certain DPS meta either. I want to help explore new options that you can be doing. I enjoy Arc Staff a lot more, so I'm going to use it where I can. I hope you find some of this information useful and clear some things up. And feel free to be critical about my content. I'm new here and I'm trying to figure out new ways to do things. So I have some of this stuff corrected and next time I claim a DPS loadout, I will definitely include a section dedicated to it. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time.